It may seem like anything goes during wartime, but the truth is there are many internationally prohibited weapons that are so powerful that we should refrain ourselves from using them. Here are the top 10 weapons deemed so deadly that they're prohibited by international agreements. Number 10. Blinding Laser Beams Sometime in the mid-1990s, the U.S. Air Force had funded research on how they can destroy eyesight at long distances using high-powered lasers. After all, disrupting the vision of your enemies could help tip the scales of war. During that time, the justification to its development was that it's a more humane weapon than napalm, radiation, or bombs. The research continued until the Human Rights Watch called out the unnecessary danger it could bring. Understanding its impact, the United Nations prohibited the use of laser beams when it adopted the protocol on blinding laser weapons. While the treaty was created over two decades ago, its lessons are still felt to this day. It's become the precursor of preemptive banning of weapons that could prove to be very concerning for safety and security. For example, the discussion about lethal autonomous weapons is already leaning towards prohibition, even during its development, much like how it was with blinding lasers. Number 9. Biological Weapons Biological weapons inflict some of the most traumatizing means of devastation, so much so that the 1972 Biological Weapons Convention was made. This was the first multilateral disarmament treaty banning the development, production, and stockpiling of an entire category of weapons of mass destruction. It took full force on March 26, 1975. One such weapon etched in history was Rinderpest, a deadly cattle plague which Genghis Khan used to invade Europe in the 13th century. This resulted to a contagious disease that caused dehydration and eventual death of various animals, upsetting natural ecosystems as well as human food supplies. But perhaps the most troubling is what they call chimera viruses. This refers to tweaking the genetic structure of viruses such as anthrax and smallpox, making them even more lethal, potentially triggering two diseases at once. For example, the Soviet Union's Chimera Project studied the feasibility of combining smallpox and Ebola into one super virus back in the late 1980s. Just think of the horrors such a weapon could bring, and you'd understand why it makes sense to ban these weapons. Number 8. Certain Bombs We all know bombs are destructive forces used in warfare, but the following ones are especially devastating, to the point they have to be prohibited. The Cluster Bomb, for example, indiscriminately damages civilians, combatants, and even infrastructure. This type of bomb releases multiple projectiles on impact, which makes its use extremely devastating. It can also leave behind unexploded debris, causing further danger. As such, the Convention on Cluster Munitions, held in May 2008, banned its use, bringing 108 signatories and 103 parties behind the treaty. Another is a dirty bomb, which is somewhat like a weaker nuclear bomb, except it uses conventional explosives to spread dangerous radioactive material over a wide area, rather than a normal fission reaction. This could cause alteration to DNA, resulting in cancer, mutations, and radiation sickness. Furthermore, it leaves a desolate wasteland in its wake, so there's that problem. Of course, nuclear weapons are the most popular for obvious reasons. The Sar Bomba is probably the most fearsome, described to cause similar damage to simultaneously detonating 3,800 Hiroshima bombs. Its dangers are well acknowledged that the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons was created in July 2017, which now has 57 states that participate in it. Of course, that still means there are many nations out there who still hold these weapons. Number 7. Expanding Bullets Sustaining gunshot wounds can be deadly, but you know what's worse? Getting hit by an expanding bullet. Expanding ordinances, also given the moniker of hollow point bullets or dum-dums, are designed to mushroom upon entering a target in order to stop the projectile from leaving the body. Unlike regular bullets that just penetrate a targeted area, expanding bullets cause maximum tissue damage as they spread out upon impact. This type of bullet was formerly used by U.S. policemen to mitigate collateral damage, but was discontinued after understanding how lethal it could be. If that's not enough, some are coated with poison, which could lead to secondary infections if the expanding ordnance failed to go for the kill. Some even contain anthrax spores or botulinal toxin, 
which is rather scary in conjunction with the gunshot wound. Because of the imposing threat, this kind of bullet was banned under the Hague Convention of 1899. Even conservation, hunting, and veterinary groups have filed a formal petition with the Environmental Protection Agency to ban the addition of poison to bullets, as it can severely backfire on humans when we consume hunted animals. Number 6. Hungy Sticks During the Vietnam War, a small and poorly equipped guerrilla group known as the Viet Cong was at a disadvantage as they faced American forces that had more advanced weaponry. But they were able to turn things around with a little bit of ingenuity using bamboos and hardwood, which were later dubbed punji sticks. Punji sticks are sharpened pieces of bamboo that are hardened by fire and boast lethal sharp points. To make them even more fearsome, they're sometimes coated with poison, making it a simple yet effective defensive strategy at the time. These sticks were enough to strike fear into the hearts of unsuspecting foot soldiers who dared to venture into the lush jungles especially since they were hidden almost everywhere as booby traps. This weapon's notorious reputation gave it a spot in the 1980 Geneva Convention, where this type of weaponry was banned. Punji sticks were deemed to be excessively deadly, and it was agreed that they have indiscriminate effects brought about by their poison coating. To date, there are 50 signatories and 125 parties that stand behind the treaty. Number 5. Incendiary Weapons Incendiary weapons set fire to everything in their path, indiscriminately affecting both combatants and innocent civilians. Aside from this painful damage to people that's difficult to treat, they can also destroy infrastructure as well. Their danger is acknowledged worldwide, so much that over 110 nations participated in the 1980 Convention on Incendiary Weapons. Unfortunately, despite this agreement being in place, the use of such horrible weaponry is still evident today. The Human Rights Watch accused Russian and Syrian warplanes of using incendiary bombs and dropping them on civilian areas in Syria back in June 2016. Numerous pieces of video evidence exist, along with witness testimonies and physical remnants of the bombs, proving this banned weapon has indeed been used. And it's not just Russia and Syria. The United States is also guilty, as it admitted using white phosphorus in Fallujah. This material ignites when it's exposed to oxygen, and victims have described the sensation as feeling like having their skin melted. Number 4. Non-Detectable Fragments As the term implies, this type of weapon cannot be seen by normal diagnostic procedures. The most common examples include minimal metal mines, mines constructed of mostly plastic, wood, or glass, so that they can't be detected by conventional metal mine detectors. This makes them very troublesome. Consequently, they are prohibited from use as per Protocol 1 of the 1979 Convention of Conventional Weapons. The most pressing reason they are banned is because they make it incredibly difficult to treat victims of these weapons. Because non-metal fragments are so difficult to find, surgeons have a challenging time trying to locate every piece. This leads to unnecessary suffering for the victim, since there is a huge chance some pieces are still left unaddressed. Their lack of metal also means the mines are extremely difficult to detect with metal detectors once a conflict has been resolved. Hence, they'll potentially cause unnecessary harm to civilians in the future. The use of landmines, especially those with non-detectable fragments, is so bothersome that over 80% of the world's countries are signatories to a treaty banning it. While there are a few countries who aren't part of it, they don't use or produce weapons with non-detectable fragments. Number 3. Twisting Blade any knife can cause mortal damage to anyone it stabs, but nothing could compare to the damage inflicted by a knife like the Yog Commando Integral Tri Dagger Fixed Blade. Its defining features is its three edges that twist from tip to the body, so it's hard not to notice it. While other knives have multiple uses like cutting cords, preparing food, and many more, this twisting blade apparently has only one sole purpose – to kill. They say that if you wish to kill someone with a normal blade, you need to twist the knife after you've stabbed the poor victim. The twisting blade saves you that extra step, making it the ultimate close-range killing weapon that leaves nasty wounds which prove difficult or impossible to stitch up. That description in itself is enough for it to be covered in Protocol 1 of the Geneva Convention. It says, it is prohibited to employ weapons, projectiles, material, and methods of warfare of a nature to cause superfluous injury or unnecessary suffering. Excessive injury? Check. Extreme suffering? Another big check. Number 2. Brass Knuckles 
If you've seen the film Constantine or the TV show Sopranos, you may have already seen brass knuckles in several fight scenes. Despite how they're being glamorized, though, they're actually prohibited in some states. States like California, Michigan, Illinois, Vermont, and South Carolina have banned the use of brass knuckles, and for good reason. While they aren't as deadly as most of the items discussed in this list, they can deliver serious injuries, from gnarly cuts to permanent eye damage and broken bones. Contrary to what its name implies, this handheld weapon can also be made of acrylic steel or hard plastic. Yet despite being widely prohibited, some individuals are able to have one provided they acquire necessary permits. Bouncers and bodyguards are usually authorized to legally carry and use them when the job requires. Just another reason not to mess with a bouncer. Number 1. Chemical Weapons There are various chemical weapons in existence, such as a tear gas used for riot control, mustard gas which became popular in World War I, and sarin, a toxic nerve agent. But they can't hold a candle to some of the deadliest ever made. VX is considered the deadliest of the bunch and is 10 times more potent than sarin in terms of lethal capabilities. Upon contact, it disrupts the body's signaling between the nervous and muscular systems leading to symptoms such as confusion, convulsions, loss of consciousness, paralysis, respiratory failure, and eventually death. This led to the creation of the Chemical Weapons Convention of 1993, detailing that the production and stockpiling of VX is strictly outlawed, yet it has still been used. In 2017, Kim Jong-un's half-brother was assassinated with this chemical at Kuala Lumpur International Airport in Malaysia. Novichox is another nerve agent which is reportedly four times stronger than VX and almost impossible to detect. This was developed by the Soviet Union during the heat of the Cold War, and up to now, not much is known about its secret of chemicals. Sadly, it's still being used as it was utilized in the poisoning attacks in Salisbury, England in March of this year. What do you think most deserves being outlawed? Is there any weapon out there that you think should make it to the list? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching.